Good morning. This is Aaron with Transformed by His Truth. Here's a video from a student who missed most of her senior year because of the terrorist rioters on the campus of Columbia University. And these are people who not only hate the Jews, but want to kill them. This is not just regular protesting. This is not the kind of protesting that's protected by the U.S. Constitution. This is murderous, violent threats, and they're doing nothing about it. And I just wanted to let you know from one young woman's side of what's going on and what she experienced, what's, what's happening. I'm going to play this video and you can make up your own mind. Another Ivy League president is out after rampant anti-Israel protests last spring. Columbia University's president has stepped down only a year after she took the position, and she marks the fourth Ivy League school president to resign amid allegations of mishandling campus protests. Let's bring in Yola Ashkenazi. She's a 2024 Columbia graduate. She's got an incredibly bright future ahead of her, and we're glad that you're here. So you were on Thank campus last you. year when all of that was going down. Yes, I and was. I would imagine you, you were quite disappointed in the leadership. Yes, 100%. I actually spoke uh, at Congress, uh, went through when President Shafiq went, and it's crazy. It's crazy. My All of my end of my senior year classes were canceled because of these student protesters. Mm -hmm. These anarchists canceled my senior year classes. You mentioned your testimony on the Hill. She was there also. Yes. Right? Okay, yes. so this was 17th of April last year. Yes. Watch here. When mobs or people are shouting from the river to the sea, Palestine must be free, or long live the infatata, are those anti-Semitic statements? I hear them as such. Some people don't. Is that fall under definition of anti-Semitic behavior? Yes or no? Why is it so tough? It's a, it's a difficult issue. Not so difficult for you. Not so difficult. Well, very all. difficult. Why did it take a year for her to resign? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They kept saying they don't know how to handle it, or they, I assume they didn't know because they simply did nothing. Mm -hmm. They did not uphold the university's laws all year long. Right. It has rules against where you can protest, when you can protest, and yet these students just took over our campus as if they rule the campus, and guess what? They did for the better part of my senior year. And I wonder if this new interim president that they're putting in, President Armstrong, I wonder if she will uphold the university's laws. The, you know, the, the university's rules should absolutely be upheld. I want to ask you about something else, because I am thinking of we're in a back to school mode. Yeah. Right? You've graduated, so you don't have that. You're in going to work mode. But in the future, in the next three months, while we still know the war in Gaza is ongoing, our hostages yeah. still held. Do you think that this fall, especially in the middle of a political campaign, you might see the same type of protest on your campus, especially if the same students are returning? Well, there's this one student who went on Instagram Live and said to all of their followers that they should be grateful that they are not going out and murdering Zionists. This is a student who fantasizes about killing Jews on Columbia's campus. And guess what? That student is set to return this fall. The university actually won't comment on whether or not they've expelled this student. A student who poses an imminent threat to students like myself, to my brother who was starting at Columbia. This student really wants to kill Zionist students. Do you think your brother should not go there? I think my brother should still go there because I, Columbia has a rich history of upholding Western thought and core tenets of Western values. And I know that it has the ability to do so. But in the past year, that's been completely disregarded. Mm -hmm. And so time will tell. We'll see how President Armstrong reacts and whether she'll put her foot down or whether she'll allow these anarchists and anti-Semites, these Jew haters, mm -hmm. to rule campus. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you. Thank you. I know you're out, but your brother's not. The students will be back in class real soon. Yeah. It'll be something to watch. Yeah. And I just hope this new president is, is strong enough. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see. Yeah. As we do. Yola, thank you and good luck thank to you. you. Okay. That's coming from a student who missed most of her senior year because of the anti-Jew protesters on the campus of Columbia. 
Columbia wasn't the only one. There were many other campuses that were overrun by these people who couldn't find Gaza on a map if you pointed it out to them. They're just, most of them are just people who want to get involved in the newest whatever's going on. They want to be a part of it. And then there are those that are bust in, that are organized, that are angry, that are dangerous, and that continue to incite these people into to the point that they want to kill Jews. This is not acceptable. This is unreal. I hope that Colombia's new president does something about this before some poor Jewish person is murdered on the campus and then celebrated by all these anti-Jew haters. Let's hope that they do something about it. You know, this is really sad that this kind of stuff is going on because people, those, most of these people that are protesting don't even realize that the Jews are the ones who are the, the, uh, the victims. They're the ones who are defending themselves against attacks on their country and their personhood. Since 1948, when Israel became a nation again, they have been attacked by Arab nations from day one and have been attacked ever since and have done nothing but tried to defend themselves and keep their own nation and their own place that was given to them to them so that they could have a place to live. So, you know, you have to get your head straight on what's going on in this whole thing before you just sing from the river to the sea, Gaza will be free. From the river to the sea means to kill the Jews from the river to the sea. The people that are saying that don't even know what they're saying. So it's just, it's really pathetic. It's disgusting. It's sad. And it's something that I wanted to, to, to bring to light because it's just so wrong. Um, you know, we can only hope that peace will come to the Middle East, but not through being overbearing and not through these protests and not through violence. Um, well, the, the peace that's going to come to the Middle East is actually going to come through the Antichrist for the, in the, during the seven-year tribulation. After the rapture of the church, when people will be raptured out of this world, will be snatched away and taken up to heaven, those of us who are Christians and Bible-believing Christians will be taken out of this world, and there will be a man that will rise to power, and he will be a man of peace, and he will bring peace to the Middle East. He will have a, he will confirm a covenant with many, which means he will sign a peace treaty with Israel and her enemies for seven years. And everything will be hunky-dory between Israel and her enemies until the three and a half year period when the Antichrist will sit in the rebuilt third temple and declare himself God. And then the Jews will realize that he's not their savior. He's not their Messiah who came to bring peace. He's the Antichrist who's out to kill them, and he does. He tries to kill them, and they, they flee to a place called Petra in the desert where God was, gonna, God was going to protect them. But the only true peace, the only time there's going to be true peace on this earth is when Jesus Christ, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, returns at the end of the seven-year tribulation gets rid of the Antichrist and the false prophet, puts Satan in this bottomless pit for a thousand years, and then we will have a thousand years of true peace on this earth where Jesus Christ will be ruling and reigning from Jerusalem on the throne of David. That is the only time that this world will have true peace. So the most important thing for anyone listening to this video to think about is... Where do you stand with the Lord Jesus Christ? Are you saved? Do you believe that he died for your sins? Do you believe that he was buried and rose again the third day to save your soul? Because if you don't, then you're going to go into the tribulation. You're going to believe the Antichrist. You're going to take his mark. And you're going to go to hell for all of eternity. That's in a nutshell what the Bible says. 
And now is the time to get saved. Today is the day of salvation. Don't wait until after the rapture and the world is in chaos. And the one that seems to bring peace will be the Antichrist. And then fall for his lies. Get saved today. Make today the day of your salvation. Jesus Christ came to this world, born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, was both God and man, and shed his precious holy blood to cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness, those of us who put our trust in him. If you put your faith and your trust in his death, burial, and resurrection alone, then you will be saved. And you won't have to go through this seven-year period that's coming on the earth very soon. You'll be with Jesus and us in heaven, and you won't be a part of this destruction and horrible things that are coming on the earth. It's all in the Bible, people. If you read the Bible, or you find good teachers like Robert Breaker or Gene Kim from San Jose Bible Church, you can find out what's going on. They have plenty of videos that talk about prophecy and things that are going to happen. But you have to be careful. You can't just watch anyone because there's millions of false prophets out there. There are millions of people who would love to have you believe their, their garbage just so that they can get followers and have people believe their, their whatever they're preaching. But only there's only a few that are on YouTube that are safe. And one of them is Robert Breaker. And the other one is Gene Kim of San Jose Bible Believing Baptist Church. So find those two, get educated, get saved, and be ready when the rapture comes because you don't want to be left behind. The worst thing in the world will be for you to be left behind and have to deal with a world where not only is the Antichrist ruling and killing Christians, but God's wrath is going to be falling on a Christ-rejecting, sin-loving world. God is going to end sin, and this, this period is very, very close. So again, I pray that you will put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and his death, burial, and resurrection alone to save your soul, because that's all that's going to save you today. No baptism, no turning from sin, no doing better, no keeping the sacraments, no doing, no works will help you. Your works are, our works are as filthy, dirty rags and to a hell, to a holy God. So it's only the blood of Jesus Christ that God will see us through and forgive us for our sins. So I pray today that you will make that choice. You will get saved. You will get educated. Watch Robert Breaker at the Cloud Church dot org ministries and gene kim at san jose bible baptist church ministries these are two safe teachers not that i'm anybody who can say who's safe or not but i've never been misled by them and i've been watching both of them for nine years so i pray that you'll get saved today i'm going to link videos on how to be saved on how to rightly divide the word of god so that you can understand god's word and a King James Bible chart that shows where all Bibles come from so that you can see whether or not you're reading a true Bible of God or a counterfeit Bible that's missing scripture and other issues. So I pray that you'll go to these links, that you'll be serious about your search, and that you'll find the Lord Jesus Christ today. Have a good day in Jesus' name.